Hello everyone, my name is James, for those of you that don't know me, and this is the Easter Egg Hunter, a series which is unbelievably celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. Yeah, a series I started way back in 2012 with GoldenEye 007, and since then we have checked out thousands of Easter eggs. So to mark the occasion, I have decided to put together my top 10 secrets of all time, which I have split across two videos. And don't forget to let me know your favorite secrets of all time in the comments section below, and be on the lookout for several prizes I have hidden across the next couple of episodes. Like most theme park games, Roller Coaster World on the PlayStation 2 allows you to create, oversee and build up your business and allows you to position rides, buildings and restaurants and adjust and readjust all the finer details. But it also allows you to wander about the park from a visitor's perspective and even allows you to enter the rides including the haunted house which sees you having to navigate through a maze of dark and dingy corridors and while trying to avoid being actually killed by these ghoulish creatures. However, this is not the only thing that lurks in this strange place, as if you happen to stand still and just listen, then you'll be able to hear this. And by actually taking this track and reversing it, you'll be greeted by a rather creepy message, and a message that is found in the game that is rated for everyone. Saddam comes soon, evil devil comes alive, you can live no more, he takes you to his hold. Over the years there have been numerous secret wedding proposals and messages of love found in video games. Hannah, will you marry me please? Well, my favourite out of all of them was unveiled in 2007 after programmer Yasuhiku Fuji was interviewed for a book and revealed that he hadn't been able to see his girlfriend Keiko all that much because he was so tied down working on Super Metroid. So one night while everyone was sleeping, he decided to sneak in some code into the boss fight with Dragon and make one of the either enemies spell out a little message which was incredibly well hidden and an incredible pain in the butt to edit. Where's the girl? <laughs> Bob will kill me if I pay you! I'll kill you if you don't. During the mission End of the Road and Hitman Absolution, Agent 47 makes Lenny dig his own grave while questioning him about the location of Victoria. Where's Victoria? And once he's told 47 where she is, there are now numerous ways we can deal with Lenny. As one, you can simply let him go. Two, you can kill him. Three, you can kill yourself and he will claim that he killed you. Or four, we could order some ice cream, which would be very handy since we're in the middle of the desert. Just drive away. There's no need, there's no need to do anything. Don't put a bullet in me. I gave you everything I wanted. Please, no more nuns, I swear.
Gearbox Software's Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway is home to some of the wackiest easter eggs you can find, but also one of the most concealed. As in Operation Garden you start off in a warehouse where immediately if you turn around and look through the gap between the large metal door you can spot a tall building and at this point you should shoot the top right corner of this ledge. Then you must shoot the corner of this large beam and then rest up against this pillar, look to the rooftop and hit this part of the brickwork. I'm still not exactly sure where we're supposed to be hitting because there are no visual clues and that's after inspecting these areas with no clip. But if you hit all three targets perfectly then a large green mutating orb will rise out of the ground and warp you to a secret room that is home to two incredible weapons. Amongst the foothills of the mountains on the way to Groznygrad and Metal Gear Solid 3, a jungle weight snake we're waiting inside is an old man, a Cobra member, and the legendary sniper known as the End. Do you hear me, snake? I am the End. But whilst you try to deal with this dangerous enemy, there are actually three different secrets to try and help mix things up a bit. As if you look at your map and punch in the Konami code, this will reveal the end's current location. Or how about saving the game and setting the internal date on the PS2 forward a couple of days where upon returning to the game, this will happen. Disappoint me, young snake. The moment you close your eyes on the battlefield is the moment you never open them again. That's why I don't sleep here. But better still, if you advance the date forward at least a week, then something else will occur instead. Drop your weapon! I found the end. He's dead. What the hell happened? Maybe it was from old age. You mean he kicked the bucket in the middle of a battle? Maybe. I... Well, Snake, the victory is yours. Uh... 